Welcome to this series of photography ideas that you can do from at home, particularly when you're bored or isolated like these days. In today's photography idea we're going to photograph this bottle of beer. I will only use subjects that are available in almost any household and show you that you can take professional images without professional equipment even as a beginner. Okay, what are we going to use for today's project? First of all, a camera. I'm going to use the Sony A5100. Next, an iPad or any tablet. A box as a stand for the tablet. Then a smartphone. A heavy box that's very small so that we can use it as a stand for the smartphone. A piece of paper. Adhesive tape, then a white shoe box, but you could also use, for example, styrofoam or maybe even a piece of paper that you stick to a bigger box than that. Okay, one handkerchief, maybe two or three, a piece of white cardboard, scissors, a double sided adhesive tape some rubber bands, a measuring tape and of course a bottle. I'm going to use beer. And I forgot a glass, a black pen and a bottle that is bigger than the one you're going to photograph. And now that should be it. I'm going to use a pile of books and place the camera on it. To get the right angle I'm going to place a handkerchief under the body. Next I'm going to bend our white cardboard over the edge of the table and then I will use some adhesive tape to create an angle of around 90 degrees. We're going to use this as a reflector. Then it's time to place our beer bottle and behind it our do-it-yourself reflector. Then we need to prepare the tablet. Let's open it. I'm going to open a website and look for something that's white like here. Zoom in as much as I can and take a screenshot. Then I open the screenshot Crop away the things that are not white, like that, and press Finished, Save to Images. Then I'm going to open the images, get to the one, zoom in all the way, and take another screenshot. And this will be the final image we're going to use to light our scene. Before I forget, please make sure the brightness of your display is at maximum. And I will place the iPad next to the bottle. Okay, no surprise. Beside the books that I forgot to mention, we also need a background. You can use a white wall, but I will use this blanket. Now I need to find something to hang it over. So I found a ladder. And I will throw the blanket over it. And then we need something else. Would you borrow us your outpost, Foxy? Thank you. We just put the outhook here, the blanket over it. And have a nice background. My distance from Bottle to background is roughly 75 centimeters. If somebody wants to convert it to feet or inches, please do so in the comments. And now we will wait until it gets dark. So, it has become dark. Well, the reality is it hasn't. I just closed the blinds of the window. And now we are going to start our photography session. First of all, I will turn on my tablet. 
and use our white screen. Then I will switch off the lights. Then I will turn on the camera, set it to manual exposure and adjust my settings. First of all, I'm going to zoom in. This camera has a zoom lever and I will leave with ISO 100. That's pretty fine. I will change my aperture to f11 and my shutter speed to 4 seconds. That looks fine. Then I focus and change the focus mode to manual focus. I usually do that when I'm doing studio work. Okay, I forgot to put my camera to 2 seconds self timer. I do that so that I don't have to touch the camera while I press the shutter and create motion blur due to camera shake. And then I press the shutter. Okay, let's have a look at our first image. What I do like is the reflection of the tablet in the bottle. What I don't like is that it ends here. I want it to extend to the top of the bottle. How can I do that? Let's first try to raise the iPad. I'm going to use a few books for that. And then I'll take another shot. Okay, you now see a reflection on top, but at the bottom we lost the reflection, so that's not going to work. You sure remember the trick with a smartphone in the first video of our boredom fighting series. What did we do? We moved the smartphone to create a bigger light source. Now, why do we do that? Let me show you an image of me holding the tablet and another one with me moving the tablet up and down. So moving the tablet will create a much bigger light source and that is what we need. Okay, but to get from the camera to the tablet I need more time. So I will change the self timer from 2 seconds to 10 seconds Press the shutter button, run over to the smartphone, change it to landscape orientation and move it up and down. And here's our result. That's a pretty neat image. What I don't like is that the left side of the bottle is rather dark. So let's find a solution for that. The good news is that there is a rather easy solution for that. You could use, for example, a white shoebox, styrofoam, a white piece of paper on a box or whatever. We just place the box and bounce the light back onto the bottle. And here we go, having another try on our boredom fighting image. I would say that one looks much better. What else could we do? Photography is all about creative use of light, so I had the idea to replace the reflector in the back of our bottle with a smartphone. So just like with a tablet, I'm going to use a white image and exchange the reflector with the iPhone. And then of course we will take another image. What I don't like is that the light ends here. If anything, it has to go up to the top of the bottle. To change that, I'm going to cut a piece of paper, take a glass, a rubber band and put the paper around the glass, like that. Then I will put the glass between the beer bottle and the smartphone. And next I will cut away the parts that are visible in the image. To give you an idea how this looks like, let me just shoot this handheld sequence. And take another shot. What else could we do to improve this shot? What I will do is cut a tiny bit of double-sided adhesive tape. Very small. And stick it onto our black pen. 
Next I will attach the pen with a rubber band to the other bottle we prepared. Like that. And I'm sure you already guess what I'm going to do. I'm going to attach the bottle cap to the pen. And finally I have to place the bottle. Then we're going to have a few more shots. Okay, now let's finally take one more shot without the bottle. And that will be our final image for those people who don't want to use Photoshop. For those of you who do have Photoshop, you probably know what to do. If not, let me know in the comments, I will create a short tutorial on how to create this image. So much for today's video. In the next video, we're going to photograph tiny slices of vegetables and fruits.